Hey, this is Pizza Dude Man Guy. As of this video, we are approaching the last character reveal for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I decided I didn't want to just leave the 4 Smash series hanging. So, we're fulfilling one last promise today. Ever since the Community Choice Poll, I said I would do a moveset for Isaac from Golden Sun, and here it is. Isaac is a Venus adept from the small town of Vale. What is a Venus adept? Well, adepts are people across Weird, the world of Golden Sun, who have the ability to use Psy Energy, a sort of spiritual attunement that allows one to manipulate the elements and create giant magical hands for everyday purposes. As a Venus adept, Isaac is attuned to the element of Earth. One day, Vale is invaded by mysterious outsiders who steal the land's sacred treasures. These actions could lead to the destruction of the world, and so Isaac and his friend Garrett are entrusted by the Wise One, ancient guardian of Vale, to stop the thieves and save Weird. Smash Bros. already has a pretty good concept of what Isaac would look like in 3D, as an assist trophy, and Golden Sun provides a few ideas for basic animations, like walking, running, and jumping. There's even some idle animations of Isaac looking around. I thought it would be fun if Isaac's double jump had some sort of elemental effect at his feet, like Cyclone or Hover, purely as a visual. The only real change I want to see to these appearances is the addition of Isaac's primary weapon, his sword. Don't worry, this moveset is going to have plenty of Psy energy. But the sword is what Isaac uses for quick strikes, and honestly for most of combat in Golden Sun. In battle, Isaac holds his blade in a two-handed style, in both attacks and his idle pose. What I think would look best is for Isaac to copy this position in idle, but shift to holding the sword in just one hand for movement to better match Golden Sun. To help demonstrate, it's our old friend Moveset Miles. Now, let's get to the moveset. Battle animations in the first two Golden Sun games are pretty limited, so we're going to borrow some ideas from the third game, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Isaac's neutral combo, for instance, is based on multi-strike sword unleashes like Emerald Blitz. Here, it's a three-hit combo. Upward cut, downward cut, big upward slash. But by mashing A before the third strike, Isaac will lean in and shift to a flurry of alternating left and right slashes, resembling speedy unleashes from the first two games. This ends with the regular upward slash. The dash attack is a jumping strike, the standard attack of Golden Sun. It's similar to Lynx or Heroes, but by using two hands, this version has a bit more oomph. Forward tilt is a long stab, based on an animation from Dark Dawn. However, it's not just a stab. When Isaac uses this move, he also releases a conical burst of rocks, originating from the hilt and extending just past the tip. This gives the attack just a tiny bit more horizontal range, but a deceptive vertical range. This is a general, non-specific reference to unleashes, special elemental attacks used by the weapons of Golden Sun. I suppose you could say this one was inspired by Stone Justice. Up Tilt is a bit made up, but based on events from Golden Sun. Isaac sticks one hand in the air and creates a burst of Venus Psy Energy, basically a small explosion of yellow orbs. And Down Tilt is once again borrowed from Dark Dawn, a crouching stab that, here, creates a cloud of dust, mostly as a visual effect. Now, the Smash attacks are where we get into using some real Psy Energy. Forward Smash appears to be a regular Sword Slash. However, while charging or using the move, a massive Sword of Energy pointed diagonally downwards appears above Isaac. This is Ragnarok, Isaac's signature single-striking move. Here, it's an automatic two-hit combo. Isaac strikes with his blade, then Ragnarok follows by crashing into the ground. Isaac's swing deals very, very little knockback, like Link's forward smash, but then Ragnarok provides the power. While this makes for a great attack at close range, it can also be utilized as a short-ranged projectile. Ragnarok's motion comes out further than Isaac's slash, so it can be used on opponents trying to approach, and will even reach jumping opponents. Up Smash is Gaia. While charging, a yellow beam of light emerges from the ground around Isaac. He lifts up his sword, and a vortex of rocks fly upward. It's a combo attack that hits both up and all around. And Down Smash is Quake. Isaac sheathes his sword, opens his palms to either side, and two short rectangular pillars of earth bump up from the ground, then retract. 
This deals damage and knocks opponents upward. However, if you charge the attack, Quake will upgrade into Earthquake. The pillars will quickly bounce twice before disappearing, with the first wave juggling enemies before the second one blasts them. Isaac is frozen in place until the animation finishes or he is interrupted, which ends the attack. Fully charging the move turns it into Quake Sphere for a total of three waves. The aerial moves are also based on Psy Energy attacks. For neutral aerial, Isaac spins with an open palm, making a circle of bursting rocks. This is meant to resemble the Spire Psy Energies. Forward aerial is a big, forward slashing meteor smash. You can think of it as Skull Splitter or the sword strike used for Megiddo. Back aerial is a one handed triple stab, kind of like me Sword Fighter's forward aerial but backwards. This is based on Centurion, an unleash from Dark Dawn. Up aerial is an arcing upward stab. It actually strikes and catches opponents in front of Isaac, carrying them upward, and then the upward stab itself sweet spots at the tip for knockback. Meanwhile, down aerial is a downward diving stab, similar to Tomb Link, but again, the knockback doesn't come until Isaac hits the ground. Instead of blasting them away, Isaac's dive catches and carries opponents into an escapable Rapid Strike. These two aerial moves are inspired by the Death Leap and the Death Plunge, sword synergy attacks Isaac uses in the Ninja class. As an assist trophy, Isaac uses Utility Synergy, which is kind of funny since these abilities are never used for combat in Golden Sun, just puzzle solving. That said, puzzle solving is a huge part of Golden Sun, so I'm utilizing these moves in the grab and throws. Isaac grabs by creating a giant synergy hand to catch the opponent, giving him a little bit of range. Then he pummels by using the hand to squeeze. Forward throw is move. The hand pushes the opponent away. For back throw, the hand just tosses them back. It's something like scoop. Up throw is lift. Isaac creates a second hand behind the opponent, and the two hands thrust them into the sky. And down throw is pound. The hand shapes itself into a fist and smashes the opponent into the floor, burying them. The get-up maneuvers are all simple sword moves. Forward floor is a thrust followed by a backslash. Back floor is a forward slash followed by a backslash. The trip attack is much the same, and the edge attack is a climbing stab. Now, it's time for everyone's favorite section, the special moves. Isaac's neutral special is called Jin Set. Jin are magical creatures that represent the elements of Weyard, and they join Isaac and his friends, enhancing their powers. Typically, one would equip Jin to adepts of their matching element. For instance, Venus Jin give Isaac access to more Earth based abilities. However, players are also able to mix and match Jin, giving the adepts access to alternate classes with entirely new Psy energies. I think this character customization is one of the most interesting aspects of Golden Sun, so I wanted to include it in this moveset. Here, it's similar to Shulk's Monado arts. By tapping B, you can switch between Venus Jin, Mars Jin, Jupiter Jin, and Mercury Jin. Rather than changing stats, these swaps change the effects of Isaac's regular moves. Forward tilt and down tilt can become a burst of flames, a blast of wind, a splash of water, and up tilt changes color to match the corresponding element as well. The biggest change, however, is the Psy Energy attacks, which become entirely different moves with different properties. So let's go over these new attacks. With Mars Jin equipped, Isaac changes to the Brute class, probably the first class change most players experience since it provides abilities necessary to solve some puzzles. Neutral Aerial becomes Haunt. It's the same motion, but instead of a circle of rocks, Isaac makes a circle of spooky ghost heads with a darkness effect. Forward Smash becomes Condemn. Again, Isaac does the same motion. For all of these attacks, he remains the same, but the Psy energies change. Instead of a giant sword, a floating Grim Reaper appears, slashing with its scythe. While Ragnarok was a weak strike followed by a strong strike, Condemn is a weak strike followed by another weak strike. It does very little damage and near non-existent knockback. However, if the opponent is already at or above 100% health, the Reaper's Scythe instead deals massive knockback, somewhat copying the Death Scythe of Smash Bros, but without a guaranteed kill. It's an unusual forward smash that's more of a tool to help Isaac finish enemies off. Up Smash becomes Growth. Vines spring up from the ground around Isaac, launching opponents into the air. 
Compared to Gaia, this has higher vertical knockback, but enemies hit on the side bounce back weakly, unlike the combo striking boulders. Down Smash becomes Blast. Isaac opens his palms to either side and releases two fiery explosions. It's a simpler Down Smash with a high launch distance. Now, normally, when Isaac equips a Jupiter Gen, he changes to the Apprentice class, which grants him many buffing abilities. While this could be interesting, I'm taking a different direction. Instead, we're using the popular Ninja class, which normally requires both Jupiter and Mars Gen, but almost all the synergies in the class are Jupiter or Venus anyway. Neutral Aerial becomes Shuriken, rapidly shredding opponents all around Isaac. Forward Smash becomes Annihilation, which here is basically just a regular forward smash. Yeah, instead of summoning anything for a two-hit combo, Isaac just does his single sword swing, but it actually has high power to it. The only special effect is a kanji that changes depending on whether the attack is strong enough to kill the opponent or not. Up smash becomes punji. Long stalks of pointy bamboo emerge from the ground and blast opponents upward. Like Annihilation, this is a more normal up smash with higher knockback, but has no effect on enemies on the side whatsoever. Down smash becomes Typhoon. Isaac creates two small tornadoes on either side, which suck opponents in before launching them upward. When Isaac equips Mercury Gen, he can join either the Swordsman class or the Shaman class, depending on how many Mercury Gen he has. So for this moveset, we're mixing abilities from both. Neutral Aerial becomes Froth, a circle of bursting bubbles. Forward Smash becomes Cutting Edge. Once again, Isaac just does a single sword swing, but this time he launches a blue wave of energy, kind of like Cloud's Neutral Special. It's still a weak strike with little knockback, but it has range! Up Smash becomes Thorn. Spiked plants grow around Isaac, striking opponents on all sides. This affects a larger area than Gaia, but the attack mostly just damages and bounces opponents away. It's a more defensive smash attack. Down Smash becomes Frost, taking its appearance as a utility Psy energy. Isaac creates two long pillars of ice emerging upward from the ground. Out of all of Isaac's Mercury smash attacks, this has the strongest power, and its distance actually makes it effectively more like an up smash, if placed well. Isaac's side special is a big overhead sword strike with the power of a Jin. The name changes depending on which Jin is equipped. Flint, Fever, Gust, and Sleet. This gives the attack different visual effects, but it's pretty much the same move here. Isaac reels back, the appropriate Jin appears and grants him power, then he slams down with the matching element. It's similar to a Falcon Punch in execution, however, the move doesn't have particularly high damage or knockback. It's a pretty regular strike. So what's the point? Well, by landing the move, Isaac gains a standby Jin. They're tracked above Isaac's character icon and he can hold up to four of them. Here, the color of the sphere changes depending on which Jin Isaac has equipped, which is heavily simplified from Golden Sun, but can also be used as a reminder of which Jin you currently have equipped. Once you have four standby Jin, this move just becomes a regular attack with no special effects. For each standby you have, Isaac's stats actually lower. He deals less damage, moves have less knockback, and he goes flying more easily. With a full set of four, Isaac becomes a pretty weak character. So what are they used for? Well, we'll talk about that when we get to the down special. Up special is much simpler. It's Retreat, one of Isaac's basic utility Psy energies. Isaac dissolves into multicolored Psy energy, flies upward, then reassembles. The joystick can be used to change the direction of Isaac's retreat. Compared to Mewtwo's teleport, this move has a longer duration of invulnerability, but your opponent can see where you're headed. Down special is Summon, another iconic aspect of Golden Sun. Besides granting power, Jin can be used in battle, like how the side special does, giving Isaac and his friends the ability to call forth powerful spirits for larger attacks. This is such a major part of the game's combat, I want it to go all out but not overboard. We are sticking only with the pure elemental summons from the first Golden Sun game. Basically, this means we have 16 more special moves to cover, which is actually still less than Hero Spell List, so here we go. We're going to divide these by the number of standby Jin you need for each summon. With one standby Jin and Venus equipped, Down Special summons Venus. It appears above Isaac, dives diagonally into the ground, then erupts into multiple upward blasts. It's essentially a projectile marker for a Gaia, but if used at a bad angle in the air, Venus might sail off the stage wasted. 
With Mars equipped, Down Special summons Mars. It appears above Isaac, dives diagonally, and then explodes. With Jupiter equipped, Jupiter is summoned. It appears above Isaac and launches multiple blasts diagonally downward. A different directional variant of Venus with less power, but no risk of waste. Mercury is similar. It appears above Isaac, then launches multiple blasts straight forward. These summons are not much more powerful than other special moves. They just give Isaac more options. With two standby and Venus equipped, down special summons Ramses. While the previous summons are given 3D models, the rest of these, like Ramses, retain their original 32-bit appearances straight out of Golden Sun, kind of like Duck Hunt's Wild Gunmen. Ramses appears slightly in the background, behind Isaac, like Pokemon Trainer, then pounds the ground, creating a rain of boulders. These rocks spawn from a predetermined area in the sky, like Pikachu's Thunder Attack. If used in the air, Ramses will fall, not launching his attack until landing. Like Venus, this means he can be wasted. With Mars equipped, Down Special summons Kirin. It runs and bounces forward for a distance, tackling any opponents in its path and blasting them away, then dissipates. If used in the air, Kirin will move forward while falling, creating a diagonal path until it reaches the ground. If Kirin hits a wall, it will keep leaping at the wall until its movement ends as normal. With Jupiter equipped, Down Special summons Atalanta. She actually behaves just like Jupiter. She'll fly up, then launch a barrage of arrows in a downward diagonal pattern. The only difference is that Atalanta launches far more projectiles. And with Mercury equipped, Down Special summons Nereid. Nereid creates a large, spiraling pillar of water in front of herself that rapidly strikes opponents upward. Unlike Ramses, Nereid will not fall if used in the air. She will stay suspended and launch her attack as normal in the sky. These summons actually don't deal any more damage or knockback than the first set of summons, they just have longer or larger ranged effects. With three standby and Venus equipped, Down Special summons Cybele. A giant frog plops down, spits out some seeds, and from them, very long vines rise up. These rapidly strike and carry opponents into the sky. Like the other Venus summons, Cybill will fall to the ground before attacking if used in the air. With Mars equipped, Down Special summons Tiamat. Tiamat releases a huge stream of fire from its mouth. In the air, she will fall, but attack while falling. With Jupiter equipped, Down Special summons Procne. Procne creates a tornado in front of herself that rapidly strikes opponents upward, just like Nereid. However, Procne simultaneously shoots projectiles into her own tornado for extra damage. These will not travel past the tornado. And, just like Nereid, Procne will stay suspended in the air. With Mercury equipped, Down Special summons Neptune. Here, it appears and fires a giant water laser, diagonally upward, that launches opponents. Like Procne, he will stay suspended in the air. These summons have large areas effect just like the last summons, but they also actually deal significant damage. With all four standby Jin and Venus equipped, Down Special summons Judgment. It flies up a bit and fires a laser blast downward. When it reaches the ground, it creates a gigantic explosion. If the laser is fired off the edge, it might sail off and waste the move. However, it can also activate directly on an opponent. With Mars equipped, Down Special summons Meteor. A large flaming rock falls from the sky and explodes. It's very similar to Judgment, but may take longer to reach the ground because it spawns higher. But that can also make it more surprising as well. With Jupiter equipped, Down Special summons Thor! He launches huge, far-reaching blasts of lightning forward before disappearing. If used in the air, he will behave like Tiamat, falling while launching his move. And, with Mercury equipped, Down Special summons Boreas. Here, Boreas launches a huge, forward conical blast of ice, freezing opponents while launching them away. Like Ramses, Boreas has to reach the ground before using its attack, and on that note, every single summon is treated as a non-interactable background object, with the exceptions of the first set and Kirin. As long as they're not being hit by their moves, opponents can freely move in front of them with no obstruction, so summons need to be aimed well. This final set of summons are all comparable in strength to a final smash, but they take a lot of effort to achieve. You have to land four Captain Falcon-esque attacks that aren't even that strong and accept stacking stat penalties. Now, the summons are not affected by these penalties, however, Isaac will not immediately recover after using a summon. There's a timer before he goes back to normal, so you'll have to fight in a weakened state for a bit. Now, as for the final smash... It's Megiddo, the most powerful weapon unleash, which rivals even the strongest summons. 
Isaac equips the Soul Blade, then performs a jumping strike. Opponents hit by this move are pulled into a cutscene sequence that resembles a Golden Sun battle scene. The text box reads, Isaac's Soul Blade lets out a howl. Megiddo! Isaac jumps up, and the attack plays out. Isaac's on-screen appearance is Teleport, a utility psi energy. Multicolored glowing orbs fly in, converge, and form Isaac. Side taunt is the traditional animation for casting Psy energy. Isaac points his hand forward as blue energy rings course upward around his body. For up taunt, Isaac cheers as his equipped djinn flies and circles around him. And down taunt is cloak. Isaac briefly becomes invisible besides a wide outline, but quickly turns back to normal. For victory one, Isaac uses his Psy energy to lift a boulder, then proudly suspends it in the sky. This is based on Isaac's official art. For victory two, Isaac shows off some sword moves, then stabs his blade downward. This is his victory pose as an adult in Dark Dawn. Victory three is the sequence for obtaining a new Venus Gin. Isaac tries to catch it, it burrows into the ground, and then grants Isaac its power. The victory theme is, of course, the victory fanfare from Golden Sun. Isaac's alternate outfits are the colors of the other seven playable adepts from the first two games. So, there's Garrett, Ivan, Mia, Felix, Jenna, Sheba, and Piers. The Kirby hat is Isaac's hair. Over the years, vocal support for many unrepresented franchise Nintendo characters have come and gone. It's always present, just not always apparent. However, since his introduction, Isaac has consistently stayed as one of the biggest requests for Super Smash Bros. Golden Sun made such a big impression on the people who played it. For as much as I packed into this moveset, there's still so much more I didn't cover. It's truly an RPG series of epic size, made all the more amazing as titles that have been restricted to handheld consoles. Personally, I remember immediately wanting Isaac and Smash as soon as these games came out, back during Super Smash Bros. Melee. Whether it's the love for the games, or just the interest of a character that brings so many new and interesting elements to Smash, I think Isaac will always be a fan favorite, something we will always hope for more of. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching the 4 Smash series. I'd like to extend a special thanks to everyone who helped make these videos possible.